Stick a stream LED under cabinet light. It's supposed to be motion activated. You hold your hand to dim them. There's three of them. It says it works for 50,000 hours and it's uh, 1,650 lumens as a plug-in. There, again, there are three of them. It's ultra thin, allegedly. Got a picture here in your closet. It says it's easy to install, all hardware provided. Well, yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna link it up here and see uh, how it works. The color it says is uh, 4,000 Kelvin. Good old Kelvin, where are you now, Kelvin? Uh, 27 watts per pack. Mr. Watts and Kelvin, and same deal. Uh, 1350 lumen, luminous. So they can be uh, daisy chained. You can connect them. You got to sing the song though. Otherwise, the connections won't work. Comes with a plug and some little doohickey doodads to uh, run the power. So I'm going to be putting them in there, under there, under my reloading bench. I'm going to be putting them under here. Although they are thin, they're about a quarter inch. Um, I feel like they're mostly plastic. Screw that into the surface and then they this pops over the edges. They do give you some little uh, Phillips screws. So, And here's the power adapter with the doohickey doodad extensions. What you can do is, because you're going to have to drill upside down, is use this plate to tension the screw down and it'll keep the screw kind of straight. It'll keep, keep the screw kind of straight while you're screwing it in if you're holding this plate as kind of a support. Now the other thing is, don't put these in upside down. I didn't do that, but I, I could realize that a lot of people might put these in upside down. Curse, throw some wrenches across the room, break something, and then come back and flip them. So you don't want to have to go through that. So just make sure you're putting these the right direction. Got these things put in. It's not too bad. You have to work upside down. A couple things to keep in mind are the distances with these cables. So they give you a couple longer ones. I think they give you, so generous of them, two extra screws. I stripped the heck out of one of them. It's probably not going to come out, but they're... Uh, I guess they give you an extra screw if you need it. So one thing about this motion sensor that I should have realized before I put it in was it only works at five centimeters. So you got to reach all the way and only one of them has a sensor, but it's like a tap on tap off. I thought it was kind of like a uh, motion sensor with vacancy and a timer, but it's not. Literally you tap on tap off or five centimeters and then there's a way to, if you hold your finger, to adjust the brightness. And then you can go all the way to the max. So it is pretty nice. I mean, it does a good job illuminating my workspace here where I had no illumination before. So step into the light, my friends. Uh, works okay. This <laughs> It works pretty well. This um, cable, I need a better extension, but... Uh, yeah, not too shabby. I think it's going to do the trick for what I needed it to do. It wasn't too expensive. It's LED, 50,000 hours. We'll see if that turns out to be true or not. Uh, but pretty good light. So thanks everyone for watching. Please subscribe.